today's topic we are looking at the uh, the section called uh, finding the right mate now apparently this part is written for young men so what a young man should look for in a relationship I wonder what would a young man look for in a relationship we have to first understand that nowadays everything is upside down and um, but I think for the men it's still the same thing they're looking for a woman I'm gonna I, I haven't read that that part but I'm gonna uh, take my educated guess that a young man even today they still look for a woman who is feminine more likely traditional which means the uh, she understands her role um, yeah she could be educated but that's not the main priority and um, also that is uh, that knows how to that knows the value the values of the housework we looked at be practical earlier so that's very much important I'm gonna put that for a moment because there could be other things that I don't really know about but without further ado Let a young man seek one to stand by his side who is fitted to bear her share of life, life's burdens, one whose influence will enable and refine him and who will make him happy in her love. LYL 20.1 Well, okay, so the first thing that we should look for as a young man is to find a woman to stand by our side nowadays the woman is the one who wants a man to stand by her side instead of her standing by his side which is backward and um, usually they don't they want to make I watched a video the other day um, from a guy his name is Kevin Samuel and um, the lady was talking about oh she's making seventy thousand a year maybe something like that and she wouldn't mind finding a guy who makes less than she does but still she does not want to have the even the 50 50 load of the share of the household and i'm thinking wow they want <laughs> they want to make more money but they don't want to take as much as much responsibility as the man when it comes to spending money red flags we have to look for those red flags and um, now it's very important that when you are with a woman that she is she wants to lift you up because the moment you are lifted up, she is also lifted up. But if she is lifted up, it doesn't mean you get lifted up. I heard that analogy one time. If you are a king, as a man, if you are a king, and you marry a woman, she becomes queen. But if she is a queen, and she marries you as a man, you become the queen's husband. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> But let's move on. Oh, did you notice that nothing here is about her? It's she wants to make him happy. But nowadays, it's 
the woman wants everything to be about her. It's I wanna be, I wanna be, he has to make me, he has to make me, it's me, me, me. Instead of what can I do to make him happy. It's backward now. So this is very important to understand that if you want to find a wife or a woman who wants to make you happy while you are making her happy, it's supposed to be selfless, not selfish. Okay. A prudent wife is from the Lord. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Hmm. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Do they still exist? Uh, I think they still exist, but you have to you have to look with a binocular or take a, a candle and in at, in the middle in the middle of the day bright sunshine walk around to see if you can find one that's how rare they are she openeth her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness she looketh well to the ways of her house of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness her children arise up and call her blessed her husband also and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Whosoever, whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Proverbs 19, verse 14, 31, verse 11 and 12, 26 through 29, and Proverbs 18, 22, LYL 20.2. Now, you have to understand, there's a lot of good things right here. Um, first, she is a prudent wife. Um, and prudent, and I'm, I'm going to put it in the sense of she knows what to do. She doesn't do things out of impulse. Uh, she, she, she thinks. She doesn't do things out of emotion. Uh, or, of course, she's emotional, but she thinks. She she tried to understand what to do was the best approach. Now, uh, he there's so much here. The woman that you need to find, she should have all of these characteristics. If she doesn't, no, okay. When I say all, not like exactly that, but she should be at least close to that. If she doesn't have that, then you're in trouble more likely you're in trouble um look at i made a video the other day on uh, the wife swap where you had a feminist the black lady and the traditional one the white lady and that white lady was saying her kids should be helping her around the house in the kitchen cleaning and having her cooking and we did see that in the other video called be practical What's interesting is here, that wife that you should be looking for, she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. So you see, being idle is not just about you, it's also about who's around you. The remember in the in the in that video, the black lady she said she carries the load of the whole household. And that white lady, which is the traditional one, said, well, no, she should have the children help around because the children, they are being idled. They are idled. And so they don't learn anything about the practicality of life. And a virtuous mother would teach her kids how to become practical. I learned that from my dad since I since I was 10 years old, and it's been a blessing to me. Now, here's the thing. Many people like to quote, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. But that wife has to have all of that, those characteristics that we just saw. If we don't have any of these, it's not a good wife. In that sense, you would see, Whosoever findeth a wife, Find it, 
divorce, I guess I would say that, or um, wretchedness or wrecked. Why? Because she is not prudent, she is idled, she does not uh, look for ways to make her husband happy. That's the thing. And I mentioned in a video earlier that when you when you when you are married, who do you put first? Your husband if you're a woman, if you do you put your husband first or your children first? If you're a man, do you put your wife first or your, or your children first? You have to notice here it says that she she will do she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. The point is the first person you should be good to is your spouse, not your children. As I mentioned, if I marry a woman, of course she has to be a woman, she has to be a woman, she's gonna be first. If we have children, she is still first. Then my children are next. And then I am last. That's how it's supposed to be. Your spouse first, your children second, and you are last. And in this video, I'm gonna have to break it down because it's kind of long. So I'm not going to make the whole video in one sitting. So this basically is part one of the what a young man should look for in a woman. Because I think we're going to have a story at the end. Um, and so, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right here. And I'm going to pick up next time in this part. So we can see what's actually going on. Or should I just read that one? Let me just read this one and I'm going to close. Rolf was the son of a leading minister in Europe. in Europe. The girl he wanted to marry was not sure if she loved him, but he was urging her to make a commitment to him. L.Y.L. 20.3 Alright, men, gentlemen, don't ever do that. Don't ever try to get a girl to commit to you. She has to be willing to do that on her own. If you ask her the first time and she says no, after after a while talking to her together, then she's not for you, more likely. Yes, I know they might play hard to get and all these things, but there's a moment when she would have already made her decision to be with you. If she hasn't, move on. So, um, I'm going to stop right here. That's it for today. This was Mario Michel. I hope to see you guys again. Until then.